Memorial Day. No better place to watch morning Memorial Day festivities than in the only the only active uh, army base, only active military base in New York City is uh, Fort Hamilton. So we're right outside of that today in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, and uh, today's a blue blue pill day. So we're going to be very nice. Gonna Field of Falling Heroes. It's early in the morning. The parade starts later. Just supported them. I bought a patch. Support our troops. What else is going on? Looks like a stage is set up. This guy's gonna blow off the cannons. 21 gun salute. Wow. Get more of an idea of what this is about. So it's, so it's all about. There's some fallen heroes. Excuse me. Each one of the flags has a name on it from a fallen hero. They're all recent, too. Field of flags. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling patriotic. Over there, you got the... Uh, that's the Dover. That's to uh, commemorate the fallen heroes in World War One. The Dover Patrol. I've talked about this before. This is my favorite park. It's right down the block from where I live. Cannonball Park. It's actually called John Paul Jones. <laughs> some, <laughs> some other name, but if you live around here, it's Cannonball Park. Because it's Cannonball. Uh, John Paul Jones Park. It's the official name. And uh, these are the um, Vietnam veterans. Like I said, it's a blue pill day. What is Memorial Day? Memorial Day is to memorialize, memorialize, whatever the word is, heroes who have fallen in combat. Right? Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Air Force. The fighting forces, people who die in the fighting forces, right? That's what it means. Before that, it was actually colonial because there was no Air Force. It was the colonial Army, Navy, and Marines, I think. Uh, air Force came about in the 1940s because there was no air. <laughs> no force in the air before then. No planes, right? So, again, it's a, it, as I said, it's a, it's a blue pill day. And people join the military. I've, I've talked about this, the poverty draft. 180,000 young people a year are are uh, categorically uh, targeted to join the fighting forces. Most of the names in that field are young people. They all died. But, you know, so what is what is the point of it all? Right? What is the point of the whole thing? Right? We have to memorialize it, but is it? You know, you don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to stand there. I'm, I'm speaking very low because I don't want to seem disrespectful whatsoever to the events. I, I fundamentally disagree with, you know, the wars that those those kids fought and died in was Iraq for oil, Afghanistan for you know, political ideology. It had nothing, you know, it had nothing to do with storming the beaches of Coney Island and taking our land. Because that's what we were doing on the other side, right? We storm into Iraq and the people there don't know what the hell's going on. If that happened here, people would be irate as well, right? But in terms of the deaths in war, actually the, the statistics are, 
a lot of people may not know this, but the, the highest casualties of any American fought war, right? No one, does, does anybody really know what that statistic is? You would think like maybe it's World War I or World War II, and it's, it's actually not true. The highest, the highest casualties of any war was the Civil War, 18... I'm sure the historians will correct me, 1861 to 1864, under Lincoln, about a million Americans died. And when you do the population statistics, that's the highest uh, percentage of Americans that ever died in a war. I think it's like comes out to like 1 in 30. And then the second highest death rate of any war was uh, World War II which I think about a half a million Americans died. It's actually statistically less because there were more people by the time 1942 rolled around. But in the 1800s, the population was a fraction of that. Right? Population explosion, it's something we have to think about. There's 300 million people now in America. The number is, it's, it's, it's staggering how many, <laughs> how many more humans there are on Earth. Right, and um, so anyway, I don't have much to say about the about all this war stuff. This, the day is young. Uh, I hope to maybe interview a, 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 a veteran or two, get some people on record. But it's again, I want to I want to emphasize it's a it's a blue pill day as opposed to a red pill day. Do we want to know the truth? What, what is the real truth? If you take the red pill, you'll know the real truth. If you're someone watching, certainly watching this channel, you already are red pill. You want to know the truth. You don't want the fluff. You don't want to know how the brave soldier ran across the field and fought for his country and died. You want to know the political reason why the hell he was there in the first place. Right? But that's not what this is about, right? This is, this is where we, we parade and bang our drum down the street and say how wonderful and righteous we are and how wonderful our country is and how honest and integral we are as a people. How, how, how much love we spread around the world and, and our democracy. That's what this is about today, right? My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist reporting from Cannonball Park in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Peace.